The route certainly did become an, an obsession, um, slowly but surely. You just want to try it so much, and it just takes over. You can't stop yourself. You've got to give it that go. The time has come. I even went to the extent of recharging my phone so that if anything happened, we could get through to the emergency services from the crag and get them out straight away. If you've got adrenaline going through you, it's, it's probably too late. Adrenaline usually hits you when something takes you by surprise. It's a shock. That's the last thing you want to happen. You need to be in control. Once I sat on that ledge, it was just all forward thinking. It wasn't thinking backwards at all. It seemed to be for eternity, basically. He seemed to be sat on the ledge for a long time before he really sort of committed. I didn't think on that day that he, you know, he should have really gone for it. It's most definitely an obsession. I'm probably an obsessive kind of person. I think anybody who wants to try and push themselves to, to, to their limits in, in whatever they're doing, it has to be a good line, it has to be worth, worth the risk that you're going to take and all of the, the stress of actually preparing yourself to do a route like that. You know, I'd, I'd spent over two years on this route. Something this serious has to take priority sounds a bit sort of selfish but it's it's hard to concentrate on anything else because it's always there it's the last great unclined erect on grit for Neil it was it was something that he couldn't really release unless until he did the route basically okay Finding right Bealey for um, equilibrium was really hard because uh, it's a hard thing to ask of someone. You know, it's easy to forget that if something did go wrong, that's the person who's got to clear up the mess.